welcome back guys now today we have a low level iron man crafting guide now this guide is specifically for starting out your account and getting to a very certain point now i'm going to show you my stats now and first of all i'm going to point out i'm 61 crafting they may question well why are you doing a crafting guide you're only 61 crafting now the whole point of this guide is to get you to 61 crafting now you may sit and think well, why do i want to get to 61 crafting now crafting on an Iron Man is very very important, you need it for creating all your best in slot jewelry and even your non best in slot, you need to literally do so much stuff on an Iron that crafting is such a important and vital skill. Now at 61 you are able to do Lunar Diplomacy, obviously you need a few other requirements but 61 crafting is the lowest amount of crafting you need to be able to do Lunar Diplomacy. You cannot boost for this quest so you are going to have to go all the way to 61, you're not going to be able to get a 5 boost from Stews. But once you reach 61, once you complete Lunar Diplomacy, and if you get 77 magic after, you can then make crafting a hell of a lot easier for yourself, and I will explain that later on in the video. But now that I've got that out of the way, I just want to explain how you're going to do it. This video is going to be quite short, because I see this question asked so much in streams. People say, well, what did you do to get your crafting up? I'm new to Iron Man, this, that, and the other. Streamers answer it, they say how you do it, and a lot of people sometimes like they'll say go do charter ships, some people won't even know what that is, but there's not that many guides out there with just a few tips and tricks that might help you get to a required level. Now in my opinion 61 is the level you want to aim for, then you want to do learn diplomacy, get 77 magic and that's when you really want to start your crafting grind to get up to whatever level you're looking for. Now of course an important level is 75 to get your glory, you could go to 89 star and I jewelry but that obviously comes a bit later. But depending on how you want to do your account, you know, 61 is obviously, like I said, where you want to start. But let's get straight into it. Now, as like I said, I'm 61 crafting. Now, to start crafting on Iron Man, the most important thing you need to do is quests. Now, quests in this game, I've always said quests are so important. You should always start your account with Barrow's Gloves. Now, quests get you so much experience. Now, off the top of my head, uh, there's a few specific ones that give a hell of a lot of experience. And that is, uh, I've gone straight past it, Elemental Workshop 1 and 2. There are two quests. There's loads of quests. I'm not going to name them all. All you've got to do is go on uh, Google, just type in uh, OSRS crafting experience quests, and it will come up, and you'll have a whole table of all the quests in the game that give crafting experience. Now, just do as many of those as you can that are worthwhile. You can get a decent chunk of experience to start you off. And now, the reason that is so important is because training crafting a low level is really isn't efficient because you can get massive experience boost from these quests which is absolutely amazing. Elemental Workshop 1 and 2 are very, very good for this, considering the quests are ridiculously easy, and you get a hell of a lot of experience in crafting for them. Now, moving on. Once you've got that, you're sitting there and thinking, well, I still need to get to 61. You might be around about 30, maybe close to 40. You might have done a bit of crafting yourself as well. But like most people say, they say, you know, go straight to charter ships when you can. Now, I really started it when I was about 42 crafting, now I got myself there by doing a lot of quests. I believe I actually got to 42 plus with just quests because I never glass made before this. The first thing I ever glass made was uh, fish bowls. Now the way glass making works is you need molten glass to be able to make uh, to be able to make these items. But to get molten glass, you either need soda ash and a bucket of sand, or seaweed and a bucket of sand. Now it could be giant seaweed or normal seaweed, but the easiest things to get hold of is soda ash and a bucket of sand because to be out of the seaweed method you do need lunar diplomacy completed so that kind of takes out the question for the moment so you're going to need soda ash and you're going to need bucket of sand now a lot of people know where to buy these you buy these from charter ships now a big tip for you guys is i don't see a lot of people use this and i've used it myself to get to this level is Corsair cove now this place is right next to the bank as you can see right at the bank now i'm going to come over here and the charter ships are just here now I'm just going to guess that these uh, are fully stocked, yes. Well, other than the sand, which I'm not going to lie, is kind of rare. It looks like people are doing the seaweed method. But I've gone, I was yesterday, and I've done this plenty of days. I pick like 20 to 30 worlds, and I'll just go for all of them. Now, most of them are always in stock. You can always find them here. The other place people like to do it is Port Kazab. Now, if we get it up on the map, this is the place most people use. It doesn't require any quests whatsoever. You can go here straight from level 1. So this is where you see it's a bit more. To be able to do a uh, Corsair Cove, you need to complete a Corsair Curse. It's a really easy quest, it's free to play, most people should be able to do it. But normally people would buy it here and they go back there. 
But because so many people do that, the shops are always out of stock. It's really inefficient. Now, I, I first tried it there. Then I found out about this place. I came here. I was like, why am I not just doing it here? It's so close to a bank. You know, it's so, so good. So since I've done it here, shops most likely have a lot of stock. As you can see here, like I said, it's just the sand that's out. But if I was to go through a plenty of worlds, I mean, there's loads of worlds in RuneScape. If I was to go through loads, I would 100% find a few, a, at least 10 to 20 worlds to hop through and get loads and loads of inventories going. Now, even if you've only got 10 worlds to hop through and you have to stop every now and then, you can stop, do something at the bank, then go back to it when the logout timer comes back and stops itself. But that is... That's just a big tip for char ships because a lot of people hate char ships because they're so annoying to do. But that's just a huge, huge tip for me that I found to be so, so helpful in getting to 61. But the way it works is you're going to, be, like I said, you're going to be doing glass making. Uh, you're going to be going to a furnace. You're going to be using your bucket of sand and your soda ash on the furnace. You're going to get 20 crafting experience per uh, molten glass made. So that's extra crafting experience on top of glass blowing, which is really, really nice. So you're going to turn it into molten glass, get crafting experience. Then get more by turning it into something. Now you're always going to want to do the highest glass you can make. So a 42 fish bowl, 46 glass orb, and then from 49 all the way to 87, you're going to want to do lantern lenses. And that's what I'm still doing now, obviously. But this is going to be absolutely great uh, experience for your level. If obviously the experience per hour is going to be pretty bad uh, because you're going to be going back and forth doing stuff, but it's the best experience you're going to get for now. Now another way of getting experience. Now this isn't the best experience per hour. But it's also a tip which I thought was great. Didn't mean to hit that seagull, but we'll just leave it in there. Um, another good tip that I found to be really, really nice is if you're going to aim for 61 because you want to do learn diplomacy, you're going to need 60 mining, right? Now, some people might be thinking, well, what's this? Well, in my opinion, the best way to do this is go to Motherload Mine. You're going to want a full, pro full prospector. You're going to want... A coal bag layer and you're going to want a gem bag layer if you're going to want to be an efficient count efficient account sorry so go to mother load mine and by the time you get to 60 you're gonna have a hell of a lot of gold ore if you go then smelt that you're getting a smithing experience in the process which is also going to be nice if you haven't got the smithing level to get a slayer mask uh, uh yeah uh slayer mask black mask because you're gonna need 50 smithing for the quest uh and then after that turn all the gold bars into gold bracelets now this is very time consuming, but it's free crafting experience if you really don't want to do char ships. Now I've done this because I had nothing else to do with my gold bars and I really didn't want to do char ships the whole time. So I just thought, you know, I'm going to relax, sit back and uh, craft some gold bracelets. Now this really does help if, like I said, you really don't want to do char ships. I highly recommend it. It's not the best experience, but at the end of the day, it's free experience. Um, you're going to want to get 60 mining for the quest anyway. Now, that's pretty much the end of the low level part. It's very simple stuff, like I said, it's nothing complicated. But if you want to then go on to do crafting after, the reason I recommend 77 magic is because once you've completed Lunar Diplomacy, which is the whole point of this, is you can then do Super Glass Make. And that means you can go to a charter ship, you can, instead of going back to the bank and bank and everything, you can go there, you can buy buckets of sand and obviously with your soda ash, and then you can use Glass Make and do it. Blow it there and then sell the items back. Hot wilds, rinse and repeat. That's one way of doing it. But now that seaweed spores have been noted to be a very, very good way of banking crafting experience, before you even get to 61, the whole time you have the farming level, all the way up to the crafting level you need, almost near the start of your Iron Man account, you can just start growing seaweed spores. And by the time you get to 61, you're going to have quite a lot banked. And by the time you get to even 77 magic, like I'm 61, I'm not going to do Lunar Diplomacy until I'm 77 magic. So I've still got quite a while of growing crops left. I'm going to have a hell of a lot of giant seaweed banked. Now, I started quite late, but I've already got... Let's have a look. Uh, 642 giant seaweed. Now, it's 6 to 1 ratio. One giant seaweed is 6 buckets of sand, which is absolutely amazing. And it's an average of 1.3 molten glass per cast, if that makes sense. So, you use one giant seaweed and you... No, sorry. Per bucket of sand. So you'll get 1.3 molten glass back for each bucket of sand you use, but you only use one giant seaweed for that. So you're getting like six, potentially a lot more, per seaweed, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I've got a lot banked here. So in theory, I'll have to times this number by six, get that many uh, buckets of sand, and then, you know, do my crafting. I can just literally sit at the bank and do that. It's a lot easier. It's a lot more relaxing. But people may say, oh, how would you get your buckets of sand? 
Now, I could make another video on this, but it's very, very simple. You put your house in Yanil. You teleport to house. You put the setting on. Uh, let's have a look here. You put the setting on. So when you teleport to house, uh, teleport inside, you turn that off. So you teleport outside. You come outside. You fill the bucket of sand after you complete hand and sand quest, which I expect you have because it's crafting experience. Um, and once you've done that, you go bank it, you teleport to a bank, castle walls or whatever, ring of jewel in, rinse and repeat, and you get the point. You will get buckets of sand, not very fast, but it's the fastest way you're going to get them. And it will take a long time, but it will be worth it in the long run. But that's pretty much it for the guide, uh, guys. Quite simple, I just wanted you guys to know a few tips and tricks for getting to 61, because that, I feel like, is a big milestone in the account, because you can, like I said, you can do learn diplomacy, then the crafting ground becomes a hell of a lot easier, because you can bank it, rather than running back and forth from charter ships, because that is absolutely horrible. But obviously you can bank it, and if you've got nothing banked, you've done all your experience and you still want more, you can do the charter ship method, but you just don't have to run back and forth, because you do have the glass make spell, which is very, very nice. And it's also free magic experience, can't complain with that whatsoever. But that's the end of the guide, guys. If there's anything else you want to know, drop a comment down below and I will try to answer to the best of my knowledge. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.